Hey everyone, Chris with the Kentucky Woodsman Channel. It's been a while since we've been uh, out to check the game cameras and it's that time of year that we get prepped for deer season. Um, I don't hunt here at the cabin, but I actually have a game camera here at the cabin. And when I was here about five days ago, this bench you see right here was standing upright. Well, I've got a game camera on a tree right over there. I'll show you here shortly. That'll kind of monitor what comes around the cabin and just kind of keep an eye on things in general. I've got a pretty good idea what turned that bench over, but uh, hopefully we'll find out here real shortly. I would like to think I got a good picture of it. Like I said, I think I know what it is. Might surprise you when you see it. But you know, if you're a deer hunter and you don't keep game cameras up preseason, you're missing out on half the hunt, half the fun of the hunt. I love checking my game cameras. It's something I look forward to each week. I travel with my job. I just got back from Alabama last night and I'm up here this morning checking my game cameras to see if anything come around. Well, like I said, I'm pretty sure something's been here at the cabin. Don't know if anything's been over down over the ridge at my deer stand, but we'll see very shortly. You know, I can almost see, well, I can see where whatever turned my uh, bench over, I can see where it's come through the leaves here. I don't know if I'll be able to see any tracks. The ground's pretty dry and it's pretty hard right now, but you can see where whatever it was traveled right through the leaves right here. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, that bench is not light. And say it goes a good 75 to 80 pounds, maybe heavier than that. So whatever turned it over had to be pretty big. Are you getting any ideas as to what you think it might be? And if you look straight over here, just past my grill, and if you look very close on that tree, you will see my trail camera right about there. So I should have a good picture of what turned this bench over. And here's my trail camera. Give me just a second and I'll get the card out of that. And uh, then we'll proceed over the ridge to where I'm watching my game, tra game trail that goes by my tree stand. Well, I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure what that is. Most likely my wife's grandpa coon hunting. We have a coyote. He's been hanging out quite a bit. I, you'll see several pictures of him. There's a raccoon. Still no sign of, oh, there's a deer, a little small buck. Still no sign as to what turned over the bench just yet. You notice it's still standing up. There's that little six point buck again. Hmm, what turned over the, oh, well, looky there. There's a nice little bear. There, oh, there's t there's three bears. I see another pair of eyes, and look what it's doing. It turned the bench over. Now, that's exactly what I thought. And I'm sure many of you were probably thinking the same thing. These bears hung around for a pretty good while. There's a coyote again. There's a pair of eyes. I'd say it's that coyote or maybe a raccoon again. But uh, as you can see, there's a, oh, he's got something in his mouth there. Hmm, there's that bear back. Lots of activity around the cabin, folks. Lots of activity. Well, I've changed the camera card out. And the camera that's looking at the front of the cabin there. And now we're using over the ridge here. We'll walk right by my tree stand and we'll change the camera card out there. Don't look for there to be any evidence of anything's been around. But hopefully the camera caught any movement that went by. Walking up on the tree stand here. As you can see, there it is. be perched opening day of modern firearm season 
I was hoping to get some archery hunts in this year, but it's just not worked out yet. Now, we're approaching the game trail that goes by my tree stand. And if you look real close, about right there, you'll see the trail cam that watches the uh, game trail that goes nearby my tree stand. It's about, oh, it's about 25 yards from my tree stand. Well, the first thing I see as I'm walking up to the camera is the doors open. Well, if the game card or if the uh, SD card is still in there, then I'm sure I just didn't get the door latched real well. But if the SD card is gone, that's probably going to tell me someone has been messing around my uh, spot here. And unfortunately, this is private land, but people still think they can uh, come right on anytime they want to. And then if the game camera catches them, the first thing they do is they either steal the game camera or they steal the SD card. But maybe that's not the case. Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions. I'm right here. Let's look and see. Well, the card is still in there, so that's a good sign. I guess I just didn't get the door latched. But we have had trespassers this year. We've had a lot of evidence of it over on the other side of the farm. So I wouldn't have been surprised if that had been the case. Let me change this card out real quick, and we'll go check out what we have on the cards. Okay, the camera card is changed up. And if you look, you can see a really nice game trail through here. I usually get a lot of deer come through here. Bobcats, coyotes, bears on occasion. But who knows if I got anything this time. But I can see where the leaves are agitated up through there. So looks like there's been something traveling it anyway. Okay, let's check out what's on the trail cam down here on my at my tree stand. There's a doe. There's a, see another pair of eyes off in the background. Hey, there's that little six point buck again. He may be fair table meat this year. Let's see what else we got. Uh, he's hung around quite a bit. You know, the door was open on the camera and uh, maybe we'll find out what opened the door here shortly. Oh, wait a minute, what's that? Ah, I think we know what opened the door on the game camera now. The well, three bears are back. Looks like they had a party down there. Now, there's no food at either one of these sites. So these are just passing through. There's just an active game trail. There's a coyote. More raccoons. All kinds of raccoon activity. There's three big coons right there. Well, they hung out all over the place, didn't they? They just had a big party. There's that little buck back. That doe is back. Oh, there's a coyote again. Uh, the bear is back. This might be a solitary bear. I'm thinking this is probably... Oh, the coyote's back. Looks like that's it. The cool thing about a game camera is it allows you to be in one spot 24 hours a day, seven days a week, which you ultimately would not be able to otherwise. Now there's a lot of new game cameras out there that have the, uh, the uh, cell phone option on them that will send a, ca or send a picture straight from the camera to your phone. My son has one of them. Gotta say it's pretty neat. And I can definitely see how it would be addictive to wait on that camera to go off and see what you have. But for now, I'm using the old-fashioned method. And it gives me an opportunity to get out in the woods, check things out, and uh, have a little fun in the process. As if just getting out in the woods isn't fun enough. But it won't be long I'll be staying away from this area as much as possible. For now, I feel pretty safe and confident coming up here, but in the next couple of weeks, I will stop all movement up here and uh, 
I won't be back in here till opening day of gun season.